Hi, hello, namaste. Welcome back to Needs of Children. We are discussing about 8th standard English medium, social science in that geography, chapter number 4, hydrosphere. Let's come to the, what are the very important learning points from this lesson. In this chapter, you learn the different kinds of water bodies, the structure of the ocean bed, ocean currents, their types and conservation of oceans, know how to mark oceans, gulf, bay and strait on Indian map. So here is a the concept of distribution of water bodies. As the earth is popularly called blue planet or watery planet because about 71% of total area of earth are 361 million square 361 million square kilometer is covered by the water. The major water bodies of the world are the Pacific Ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean and the Arctic Ocean. So these are the major water bodies on the world. Let's come to the what are the concept of oceans. Oceans are deep and large expanse of water found between the continents like the Indian Ocean found between Asia, Africa and Australia, the Atlantic Ocean between North America and Europe and so on are considered as the oceans. The concept about sea, a sea is a part of the ocean extended or projected far inland. Seas are smaller when compared to ocean. Example like the Arabian Sea, Caspian Sea and the Red Sea. So you can see the Arabian Sea, here it is Caspian Sea and the concept of Red Sea. Gulf. The next concept it is called as the Gulf is a part of an ocean or sea that penetrated into the land. It is smaller than when compared to sea. The size, shape and depth of a gulf varies from one to another. Example like you can see the gulf of Mannar, the gulf of Persian gulf and the gulf of Mexico. Here it is the gulf of Persian gulf and the gulf of Mexico. Here are examples for gulf. Let's move on to bay. Bays are small semi-circular water bodies partially surrounded by land. The depth, extent and size of bays varies from one to another. Example like you can see now the Bay of Bengal, the Bay of Biscay and the Bay of Fundy and the Bay of the Bay of Biscay and the Bay of Fundy, Hudson Bay are the examples for bay. And here is a next concept it is called as strait. A strait is a narrow strip of water body joining two large water bodies. Example like Park Strait, Strait of Gibraltar, Bering Strait. You can see the examples for those for the strait and the next concept it is called as isthmus. Isthmus is a narrow stretch of land moss joining two large land mosses. Isthmus is the most important location for constructing ocean canals example like Suez Canal between the Mediterranean Sea, Panama Canal between the Atlantic Ocean and Pacific Ocean are the best examples for the isthmus. And the next concept is called as the relief of the ocean floor. The ocean or sea floor also has various features like the relief features of the earth's surface. The knowledge of relief features of the ocean floor is very necessary to know the temperature, 
importance of ocean and the basis of the characteristics of features the ocean floor is divided into four major parts they are the continental shelf the continental slope the deep sea plain the ocean deeps are the major relief of the ocean floor among that the first one the continental shelf this is the shallow area along the sea coast this part is bordered by the sea coast on one side and continental slope on the other side the average depth of the continental shelf is 100 fathoms 1 fathom is equal to 6 feet the depth of the sea in this region gradually increases towards the continental slope the continental shelf is very important for fishing aquaculture navigation and the extraction of minerals and the second one continental slope this is the second part of ocean floor and it it is very steep it is a link between continental shelf and the deep sea plain submarine canons are a special features in this region and the third one the deep sea plain the deep sea plain is the vast plain found at the bottom of the sea floor the deep the deep sea plain is also known as abyssal plain and it covers the largest area of the ocean floor in this region sea mounts and gyots are found and the fourth one the ocean deep the ocean deeps are also called ocean trenches these are the deepest part of the ocean floor example the challenger challenger deep the challenger deep of marina trench in the pacific ocean near a, near ocean floor near philippine islands is around 11033 meters deep and is the deepest point of the ocean the other trenches are tonga trench karlai trench both are located in pacific ocean so these are the very important the four ocean currents so let's come to the the concept of temperature and salinity of ocean water temperature sea or ocean water temperature varies according to latitudes and the depth of the ocean floor latitudes you have studied about the concept of latitudes and longitudes the temperature of the ocean water near the equator is more than that of the temperature near the arctic and antarctic circles with the increasing depth the temperature of ocean water decreases it is because the sunlight can penetrate into the ocean only up to a depth of 200 meters within this depth varies various marine organisms are found in large numbers and the concept of salinity salinity is the percentage of salt salts dissolved in the sea or ocean water the average salinity of the ocean water is 35 ppt parts per thousand are 35 grams or uh, divided by 1000 grams the salinity of ocean water is a very high near the tropics and it is very low near the poles at the equatorial region the salinity average due to high evaporation and precipitation here is a question why sea water is salty the water flowing from the land to the sea or a river carries many kinds of salts and deposits them in the sea or a ocean due to high temperature 
water is evaporated continuously and the salts remain in the sea or a ocean. This continuous process over a long period of time has resulted in the accumulation of salts in the sea water. Here are some of the facts among that Lake Van located in Turkey with 330 parts per thousand whereas Dead Sea located in Asia it contains 300 per thousand ppt whereas Lake Sambar it is located in India with the salinity percentage 265 per thousand ppt Red Sea Asia and Africa with 240,000 ppt. So that's it about today's session. I hope you have understood till now what we are discussed. In case if you have any doubts related to this concept, you can comment in the comment box. I will solve your doubts and I will come back with the next video. Until keep watching my channel. Thank you. Have a nice day. See you in the next session. Bye-bye. Take care.